Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a spotlight that will follow your player, whether it be third person or first person. Don't forget, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial I have on my channel. And with that in mind, let's get to work. So as I said, this is actually going to be real simple and you can do it in third person or first person. I have a scene set up here using a couple of assets from the asset store. It's nothing fancy. Uh, and I have a third person character right here, which is actually from the standard assets, just to make things a bit quicker. So there's two fundamental things that we'll need to make this work. The first obviously being the player and the second being a spotlight. So let's add that spotlight in. Game object, light, spotlight, right there. And you can see already just how much of an impact this is having on the scene. Zero right now, because we haven't got it set how we would want it. So I'm going to have it roughly about there. So it's hovering over the player right there. No problems whatsoever. We can't really see what's going on. That's because we need to change the settings here. We may need to increase the range, so I'm going to change it to 100. I'm going to change the light to red so we can see it following and increase the intensity maybe to about 5. So we can see that happening right there. You may need to increase or decrease the spot angle depending on how you want it to appear. Obviously having a massive spot angle makes it pointless. Having a small one means that you can barely see anything. So I'll have it round about there so it does actually follow the player. Now the whole premise of this is going to be the light rotating in the correct direction to follow the player. And to do that we're going to need a C-sharp script. So right click, create C-sharp script. And we'll call it light follow. Open it up in Visual Studio and we can get rid of any annotations and void start because we do not need that. The only variable that we'll need is the player itself because we need to tell the light where to move to. So public game object the player semicolon and in void update we need to put where to look at. In, in other words, we transform it. So transform dot look at and in brackets the player dot transform semicolon and save. Now alternatively what you could do is instead of declaring it as a game object you could declare it as a transform in which case you would need to basically just say the player. You wouldn't need this dot transform bit. Either way will work. It's entirely up to you how you want to code it. So if we go back to Unity, uh, when the script has compiled down here, all we need to do is add that light follow script onto our spotlight. Right there. And then third person controller becomes the actual target within that script. So you'll see here we have the player, we just need to drag and drop the third person controller onto there, press play, and now the spotlight should follow us wherever we go. There we go. So depending on where you are in the scene, the spotlight will grow bigger and smaller because obviously you have to remember that the spotlight is going to be shining at an angle. So obviously you can see that angle is coming down this way. So obviously it's having a greater impact on the area around it. And I did say this would work with a first person controller as well. So obviously all you would need to do at that point is declare here in this variable instead of third person controller, the first person controller. And it is as simple as that. Now this kind of thing is quite handy if you want to make something a little bit creepy maybe or perhaps you are on a stage or something and just want to add a little extra effect that the spotlight on the stage is following whatever player or character you have. So guys, uh, I hope that's helped a little bit and I hope that's going to be useful in your game at some point. Uh, as I say, don't forget, subscribe and click the bell icon for more on my channel. Guys, thank you very much for watching.